Ladies and gentlemen, prepare for your mind to be blown. So in the midst of all this Derek Jackson action taking place, and especially with that foolish video of Derek reacting to himself and speaking in third person, I figure I'm about to do a reaction of my reaction, of Derek's reaction to his video. By the way, I'm going to do it in third person. By no means do I take pride in tearing another man down which is why I'm not the one doing it. This gentleman did it to his own damn self. Absolutely, he did do it to himself, him and all of his steroids. And clearly, he doesn't know how to tie a tie. Subscribe to the YouTube, follow the Facebook, follow the Instagram, follow the Twitter, and of course, go to thosepeople.com for all things those people. Derek Jackson, the self-proclaimed relationship guru, is experiencing a fall from grace since he was called with his pants down. This is what I like about Dr. GQ, the professor of common sense, because he's very clever. As a matter of fact, when this whole Derek Jackson situation took place, the only person I was waiting to hear from was Dr. GQ, the professor of common sense, and boy, he didn't disappoint. Let's keep watching figuratively and literally as he reportedly cheated on his wife. Now before we continue, let's clarify some things. So we already know that <laughs> cheating isn't right. Whether it's the man or the woman, the person in the wrong extends their deepest apologies to their partner and it is up to them as a couple to decide whether they want to work it out or they want to call it quits. It happens all the time, nothing unusual there. All right, so now, when I say nothing unusual there, I'm not trying to sign off the fact that his cheating is no big deal. His cheating is a very big deal. Um, I'm not saying that it isn't wrong, because it is. My attention is actually a little bit more focused on his hypocrisy, because it, it seemed as though he put himself on a pedestal and made it a point to say that every man is trash, and any time a relationship goes south, it's always the man's fault. And I don't think that's fair to the very few men out there that are actually trying to do the right thing. Let's keep going. Let me break down why this situation is such a big deal. First of all, the man made an entire career out of throwing men under the bus by telling women how no good their men are. And he did it in such a way that he gave women the impression that the only way they know that their man is good is if they're like him. Oof. I don't know if that's still the case, but let's keep going. Like, but let me say this. I have no sympathy for a man who finds it to be difficult to be faithful after being in a promiscuous lifestyle, and neither should you. But now, fast forward, he's the cheater. Should we have sympathy for him? That's a very good question. Um, because it was like he was talking, and he was talking so passionately, but... Now, all of us know what he was really doing. What he was doing was causing turmoil in relationships and also making sure that the females that are... But now I realize what he was really doing. What he was doing was he was causing trouble to current relationships. And then for the women that are single, his rhetoric made women remain single because the women that followed his teachings was so focused on finding the man that Derek Jackson created in their imagination. And because they can't find him, they remain single and therefore remain available for him to come and swoop in and um, prey on them. As a matter of fact, I heard this one story where he, uh, he took one of the women home and skipped all the formalities and just pulled his dick out. That's rude. That's not even the worst part. It happened in his wife's bed. So from what I understand, there... <sighs> Talk about disrespectful. You're cheating on your wife, which is bad.
But to cheat on your wife in your wife's bed is adding insult to injury. And his wife just moved into a new house. When you just move into some place, you're bound to have some boxes all over the place that haven't been fully unpacked yet. So I'm pretty sure the mistress saw some of the wife's belongings. But the narrative he used with the mistress was that he and his wife were separated and the boxes with her belongings were indications that she was packing her things and moving out and leaving him, which is actually hilarious because he said this in a previous video. If he's still physically or emotionally still tied up with another woman, yes, that includes the we ain't even together no more, but the lease ain't up, so you know how that is. Let him go. Or the, I mean, I moved in with her, but we trying to pool money because we got kids and stuff. Let him go. It damn sure includes, you know, I just got out of a relationship, so I'm taking my time, but I am single. That's just cold for, I want my girl back, but we can enjoy a little fuck break until I clock back in with her. So the more and more I watch this guy, the more and more irritated I get, and my balls itch. Because that's how irritating this dude is. He's that guy that wants a girl, right? So what he does is he goes to that girl and tells that girl how whack all the other guys around her are, therefore eliminating all competition so he could have her to himself. He's been doing this for years. Let's keep going. Look at how awkward they're sitting next to each other while the wife's hand is being held in an extremely unnatural position. Okay, so I can't be the only one, but this didn't look like an apology video. This looked more like a hostage video. She, first of all, we all can see how strong that man is. The man is cock diesel. He's huge. So we don't know the kind of pain she was feeling when he was gripping those hands. For all we know, she wanted to escape, and he made sure that she was right there using her as a human shield instead of sitting in front of the video by himself like he should because he's the one that screwed it up. He's the one that messed up. He's the one that stepped out on his marriage. So he should explain himself to the people without any type of help from the wife because quite frankly, the wife had nothing to do with his transgressions. He should just face the music on his own. And furthermore, you should start using words like I instead of Derek because I don't like how he's trying to separate himself from the situation. This man held on to her hand for dear life <clears throat> for the entire interview, mm. which means if she had an itch in the middle of her back, there was nothing she could do about it. Nothing. Can you imagine? Let's say she just got a mosquito bite, a fresh mosquito bite right in the middle of her spine, right? Now, so now she's sitting there, she's uncomfortable, She's terrified because she has this cock diesel steroided man holding her hand so she can't let go. And her back is beginning to tingle because of that damn mosquito that just had to bite her at that moment. And she can't do nothing about it. She can't scratch it. She can't move. She, she can't have her hair out because it's tucked in a bonnet. There, she can't do anything. Let's continue. And the thing that drove me the craziest was the fact that this clown was speaking in third person. But the truth is, and I'm saying it here now, is that Derek Jackson was involved with other women outside the marriage. And by involved, I want to be clear, I'm not talking about just casually kicking it, maybe a lunch or something like that. I'm talking about as serious as sex, um, to sexual flirtation and, and meeting up and that kind of thing. Now, on this now, if you watch her as he's saying all these things, you can tell the way she was looking at her own hand and his hand it was like, she was like, please let go of me. Please let go of me because I am not in the mood. I was sleeping and you just pulled me out of bed. And now I got to sit here and look crazy while you sit there and try to explain yourself to the people instead of just explaining yourself to me in private. Now, granted, you said that we've done that before, but why do it now? Because you're trying to save your image and your business which seems more important than your own damn marriage. Let's continue. It may appear that he is admitting wrongdoing, but in fact, he isn't. This man is so narcissistic that he speaks in third person as a cop-out because it is too difficult for him 
to humble himself and use the words, I cheated, or I messed up, or I stepped out of my marriage. Am See I that? This is why I like watching Dr. GQ, the professor of common sense, because he makes all of the sense. And I think I'll stop it there. I think you guys get the point. He was wrong on so many levels. So if you buy any more books from this gentleman, you deserve what happens to you afterward. Just saying. But before I go, just make sure that you check out that there, Dr. GQ, the professor of common sense videos. It's a clever dude. Probably learn something. Take care.